to this week's video. Hopefully you can see okay because we're in my bathroom, which does not have the best lighting. And hopefully we don't get interrupted by my toddler too much. But I want to show you guys something a little different this week. I'm going to do a hair tutorial because people keep requesting. So I'm finally going to do it. Um, I just showered this morning. My hair is clean and blew it dry. And nothing fancy. I use like a root boost and a texturizing spray um, in my hair because I have very, let's see, like I have a lot of hair, but it's fine. And so it's thick, but I have a lot of texture cut in. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys how I tame this mop. And yeah, keep watching if you want to see Hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and just get started before the baby wakes up. Okay, so I am not a hair guru, um, but I did not like I did not go to hair school, anything like that. But I like to you know teach myself anything. So I have over the years taught myself as much as I can about hair. Um, so. I don't do anything fancy guys, but I clip up this much so that I get one layer down here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clip up the other side too. My kids stole all my clips. So kind of just section it off. There is a fly literally buzzing around my head. That's just fabulous. Clip it up so I just get kind of one layer around my head. My hair in the back, you can see in this little lighting, is pretty short. So those pieces are kind of hard to curl. Um, but what I do is I like to use a one inch straightener. And this one is by GHD and I've seriously had it forever. And I'm praying it doesn't like quit on me any day now. Um, but I like to curl my hair with a straightener and it just works so much better for me than using a curling iron. Okay. so. Let's go ahead and just get started. Um, since my hair is like freshly cleaned, you guys, I usually put a little bit of dry shampoo. I'm currently loving Kristen S. from Target. But my hair is super like slick and like gets really smooth, <laughs> which people probably wouldn't think is a bad thing, but for me, when I want like that texture and I like it to be messy, um, I've got to get grit back in my hair. So I use a lot of products, okay? The only way to get that is with products because I can't change the way my hair is. It's not coarse at all. So I have to really get as much volume as I possibly can. So I first start off with that. And then you guys, I simply just section off my hair and I, I'm very impatient, so I get as much as I can um, at a time, okay? And then I simply pull and I leave about, I kind of hold on to the end so I don't curl the end. Can you guys even see that? And then I sometimes just twist to make sure it stays curled. Sorry, the lighting is really bad. The fact that I have like black hair does not help you be able to see <laughs> very much. And it doesn't help that there's a window right there. It needs to be on the other side of me. So again, I turn as close to the root as possible to get that lift. And then I keep the end in and then I just pull down and I twirl, twirl, is that the technical term? Um, to kind of keep that curl as it hasn't cooled yet. Okay. It's hard for me to see. I'm trying to look in the mirror behind y'all. Um, and when I get back here, and so I'm just curling away from my face and I'll worry more about alternating when I get to those top layers, but this is just the bottom, honestly. So I get down here and my hair starts getting real short 
So I can't really hold the ends out. I just have to curl and I'm still curling away. Now then I'm getting back here and I just start curling down because my hair is super short in the back right now because I just had it cut. Okay. And then I worry more about this top section. So, and you guys see, I take a big chunk. I'm a lazy hair girl. So what I love about this like method when I use a straightener is I can curl my hair on day one after shampooing and I can just add more product and tossle it and get away with not washing my hair again or not fixing it, not even picking this up again um, until I have to wash it again. It just lo slowly loses a little bit of the tightness of the curl. Okay, so I still went away from my face. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a, a section and on this top layer, and I'm gonna go towards my face. So I have, lift that at the root. I did not get that very good in there. Let's try that again. This is why I like to hold the end so I make sure it stays in the straightener. And we can always fix pieces afterwards if they didn't curl well. I mean, my hair is so dark, you can't see anything, can you? Okay, we'll just keep chugging along. I'll fast forward some of this. Okay, and then, and I've gotten to where I'm pretty fast at this. And this help, like this straightener. It is hot enough that it doesn't take a lot. So that side's done, if you can even see it. Okay, and then we're gonna head on to this section. I'm just gonna do it real quick. I might have to look and see if I missed any pieces back there, but okay, now this is like the main section I really concentrate on. Um, like I got a thick amount of hair right here in the front, but I don't want like Shirley Temple curls through this. I want them a little looser, which is why I grabbed her sections. Okay, I'm gonna start going away. And this is the part that like people see the most all that underneath just kind of adds volume and sometimes honestly I just um, will <laughs> this is the part that always likes to stick out fun um, at the bottom sometimes I even just curl it under depending on how quickly I need to do it that day or if I want a really loose style Sometimes I just slide it through like that. Okay. I try to kind of pull it. This one is going wonky. Okay, let's see what we got here. It might not look like I have a lot of hair, but I do. Um, okay, so I already went forward. I should have went backwards with this, but that's okay. We might go all the way through and curl that end so that it's tighter and all the way curled since these pieces have straight ends. Sometimes I alternate. 
so it doesn't just like chunk up in one big piece. Which I sometimes do as well. Just depends on the look you want that day. Okay. All right, so almost to the front. I think I'm gonna do one more towards my face here, and I usually keep out this front section and do something a little different. So we're gonna go ahead and go. That. Okay, all right, so this front section, if I don't curl it a certain way, it will literally be in my face. I have so many calyx along my hairline, which means I'll never have bangs, but um, I really have to blow dry in a certain direction to get it to go anyway, which I just can't change my part on the willy-nilly. But when it comes to this front section, what I do is I take this and I really give myself volume and I go in the direction I want. So I <laughs> literally go like this. Then I stop right where I was doing that and then I flip it in the direction I want to go in. Okay. So it gives me kind of a swoop so it stays out of my face. And you guys, that's it, okay? I usually will make sure that they're all cool and then I start with product. So I better take my rings off so I can get my hands dirty. Um, you guys might think I have a lot of product, but I do. I am a product junkie and I know I have a problem. So my first one I use is a texture paste by um, IGK called Broken Dreams, okay? And it's more like, it's like, um, how, I mean, it is a paste. It's not creamy. You gotta dig some out and I get about that much. And I literally warm it through all my fingers so that it becomes like liquid and it's gritty. It's totally gritted. Okay, um, and then I start just go into town, okay? So, I put this everywhere and this is kind of how I break up my curls, okay? So I rub it through my roots, I get it on the ends, and I just kind of make it messy, okay? If you guys haven't noticed, I like my hair messy. These perfect curls are just too perfect. Okay, so. Don't worry, if I got some wonky pieces, I can go back through and fix them. Like this guy, I can tell you right now, is gonna drive me nuts unless he wants to stay down, which I don't think he is. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I go in with that, and then I kinda change it up sometimes, but I'm loving this Kenra Dry Volume Burst. You guys are gonna think I'm sponsored by Kenra after this because I have a lot of Kenra products. But um, this or Living Proof, the dry, I think it's called Volume Blast 2, actually. Um, they're both awesome. So what I do is I texture, or blah, 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 get out part of my hair like this, do it at the roots, and work it through, okay? And I do that anywhere I want volume, so the back here okay what buddy mama's doing a video yep we're gonna go in just a minute I'm almost done okay I'm fixing my hair bud okay so gives you a great volume maybe a little too much but my hair likes to settle because it's heavy Okay, then I'm gonna go in with Kenra Dry Texture Spray. This is literally getting worn off. I'm almost out. Oh, Hudson wants to say hi. Okay, now you guys stay I'm down. No, buddy, I can't fix my hair if you're on my lap. Okay, then I spray this. Then I spray hi. this. Shh, I'm filming a video, buddy. You gotta be quiet. Okay, 
So then I spray this through the ends of my hair. And I'm obsessed with this stuff. Like, wow. This is what I add back in my hair on day like two and three, just to tossle it and make it look styled no, again. It fly. does amazing things. Okay, you can, you got the fly swatter? I'll get. It's already dead, isn't it? Oh, it's, oh, it's still alive. No! Get it then, get it. Good job. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, oh, that piece kind of went away, maybe. And you got one. Or not. Okay, so if you get wonky pieces like this, and you go like, you can take those small, those pieces that get wonky. Hello, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, but it's like, like this. Okay, just tame them down a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna check for other wonky pieces. And again, I like some straightness in there, but not too much. So. Okay. I have no idea what the back looks like. You guys tell me. <laughs> I'll have to look and fix whatever is messed up. Okay, so yeah, do I have all my products in? Do, do, do. The other thing, I have a lot of little baby hairs. Thank you, pregnancy, losing my hair, and then regrowth. So I love this dart by, I don't know how to say it, R Plus Co, R and Company, I don't know. And it's a pomade stick, and I simply just run my finger over it and kind of hold back. I don't do it directly on my head because it seems to deposit too much product, but that holds back my baby hairs because if you saw in the beginning, I have a lot. And then as you can tell, I like the big kahuna. This has been my ride or die hairspray for probably 15 years. And there's every time I try something else, just nothing else works. So volume spray by Kenra. So again, I hold down those baby hairs and then I give myself a good spray. I love it because it's not crunchy, but it will hold my curls. And there you go. I usually tuck behind my ear. I'm a tucker. And if I need any more volume or whatnot, but I think that's done. So hopefully that helped you guys learn a couple tricks or two about styling short hair and with a flat iron. So comment below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help you ladies out. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.